much of what we know about the effects of stress uh, in trauma and in chronically stressed people uh, comes through biological testing of stress hormones mm -hmm. and their cycles. So we have a, a natural cycle to those stress, stress hormones that signifies health and well-being. Um, for example, when those stress hormones are measured, and we measure them through saliva, uh, when they're high at night, that's a biological marker for depression. So mm -hmm. in some ways, I could look at that test without even seeing a client and go, yeah, you know, this person's probably waking up fatigued, they're slogging it out throughout the day, and by night they're wired and they can't get to sleep, and this person it, it probably has a waking depression. And mm. so we have these various ways. Uh, we, we might test heart rate variability, another very standard cardiac measure of autonomic stress uh, in the body. It's used very routinely by cardiologists, but we apply it to... So again, just slow down health. a bit. So what, what would the test be? What is it that you're testing, and what do you find out through that test? We're finding out different portals of the way the body-mind is expressing stress. So for example, you let's back up and you've come to me and said, you know, I'm really stressed out. And I can talk with you about your history and what's gone into that stress, but if I want to treat your biological system and your physiological system along with your emotional system, mm -hmm. I want the assessment to come from the biology and the physiology 